Hi, I'm Dave Sorka, Marketing Manager for USB2 and Automotive Worldwide Marketing Manager for Strategy. And we're here today to show you um, USB Smart Hub technologies specifically for automotive. So what we have here is technology that supports uh, CarPlay, so we're going to get that going right off. I'm going to plug in my phone here. You can see then we have a board here and then we have our uh, head unit here. And you can see now that CarPlay is connecting. And so here you get the splash uh, screen from CarPlay, different applications for music and whatnot. Um, I'll go, we'll go back to the music. And we can start some music playing here. And the nice thing here with our hubs, while it's in CarPlay, you still have data going to the other ports. So um, this is our third generation supporting CarPlay uh, in our hubs. The neat thing that we've done now is add in power delivery into our devices. So now I'm going to start putting in, um, connecting a laptop, a Lenovo laptop. And again, the power delivery now, uh, you can support up to 100 watts per, per port. So here, you can see that the uh, laptop is drawing about 20 volts and two and a half amps. And now we're going to put in another device here. And you can see here that it's going to be charging slowly. So here it's charging at five volts and about one and a half amps. And the thing that we've done here is we do the power delivery spec, but we also do something called power balancing. So with power balancing, then you can optimize and lower your overall cost by lowering the cost for the power components on the board. So this supports about 60 watts of power. So what happens here is we have allocated a budget to these two devices, such that now when I take this out, you'll see that the device now is actually starting to charge at a higher uh, power level, now at the nine volt level. And oftentimes on the screen, it'll say charging rapidly, but this time it did not. But. So the last thing we did, and again, what we're trying to do is add as much functionality into the hub as we can. So in the automotive, they're very concerned about the thermal um, differences now that they're supplying so much power over these ports. So I'm going to start this guy up real quick, and we're going to heat up the devices. We have the capability to measure temperature and uh, respond to temperature. So you might be able to see these uh, LEDs here. That means uh, the, when it's all lit, it's 20 volts there. But when we fire this guy up and start to heat it up, you'll see that it's going to throttle back down, and then if it gets too hot, it actually will shut off. So for the demo purposes, you've seen that it pops down there. And if you go and you look at this, here you can see it's actually shut down. So we did that demo that way just so you can see very quickly that it, it responds to thermal. And again, all these capabilities are wrapped up in, uh, in the silicon and supported in, in the silicon hub. That's why we call it a smart hub, because you get so much functionality, system functionality um, in the device.